Yes, guys, my name is Andrew. My name is Lionel. And you're watching Frederick TV. And welcome to our season preview. Yes, we're talking everything hot in football transfers, kits, champions, relegations, you name it. Arsenal going to get relegated. Oh, you're, you're talking that tough talk already. Let's kick it off with transfers. First and foremost, if I do this, uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? First it's a man all, like Pogba. You know what? He's here. First of all, we need to know about. Is that an overrated signing? I'm talking 105 million euros, 89 mil in pounds. That is a lot for a player that hasn't got a lot underneath his belt. I rate Pogba, by the way. I do rate him, though. I'm just saying. But do you feel that's... I know you're a United supporter, but do you feel that's a bit too much? Yeah, the, the fee's a bit crazy. It's but, bit crazy. Bear but, in mind, you guys let him go for free four years ago. Four years ago, you know, and now you're paying 90, what, 89 mil for him. Damn, you can dab on that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, you can okay. Dab on that. Right, but how about you this? Want? How about this though, yeah? The shirt sales alone from probably this week will pay for the transfer. What are you saying? Wait, wait, that's what Ibrahimovic said, didn't it? Oh, so, damn, uh, okay. No. But you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I feel like he will fit into the team strong. Brings a lot of personality to the squad as well. I don't know what you guys think of Pogba as Leave well. Leave a comment below. Let's know yeah, what you think about bear Pogba. Bear in mind, though, he's coming to the Premier League. And the Premier League is a different type it of game. It is game. tough. It's definitely tougher than the definitely Tang League. Oh, wait. Don't forget Zlatan. You guys got well, that's, Zlatan. That's free. coming. He was that's free. That's strong. You know? Yeah, yeah, but that's a strong signing, though. That is a strong signing. We've got Zlatan as well. I didn't want to mention it. Like, I didn't want to get gassed, but we've got Zlatan as well. All this talk about yeah. him being the next god of United. Really? Really? Maybe so. Really? I think so. He's done good pre-season so far, I won't lie. Overhead kick and lie. winning goal in, in the community short. Yeah, what more can I ask for? What more can I ask for? Now, I'm going to Mane. Yeah. Mane is on fire. Yeah, he's on fire though. No, nah, he, he's actually doing, like, I'm not going to lie, his haircut's a bit dead. Yeah. But, my, Donny is on fire. The guy is, Barcelona. Yeah, he looked strong he the went other to the day game, in Wembley. Lucky. Yeah, he, went, he looked strong the other day in Wembley. Even though Barcelona didn't turn up for that friendly though, I'm just saying. But he looked strong, man. Like. Definitely a good signing for Liverpool, so... I yeah, yeah, definitely, right definitely. we got to talk about it. John Stones. Yeah, boy. The way it got announced is a bit peak. I know, innit? it? That was like a slap in the face for everyone. I think so. I, I saw, think so. I thought United were on to Listen, let's not, let's not talk about United the and same, get into him, because we would be strong. United to everyone. Real quick, though, what transfers have Arsenal made? Oh... Listen... Oh, did you hear crickets? I heard crickets. <laughs> Listen, to be fair, we don't really need to add more to our team. What we do, but the difference <laughs> is, the difference is, you know, we're still going to be a strong team this season. And it's been the same thing again, nah, where dead. Wenger's just, dead. you know, he's you're just, dead. you're just tempting us you're with dead. these pockets and like, not, you know, not dipping. Like, like, why? Like, you know what I mean? Like, all this talk, I heard Mahrez, I heard Mahrez, that would be a flipping signing. Mahrez would be a signing for us. Right, let's move on to the next transfer, because... Yeah. Yeah, that's Nothing from Arsenal. Yeah. Last yeah. transfer that we got to mention is Kante going from the Champions Leicester to Chelsea. Yeah, boy. But all, I'm, all I'm saying is he was a force at Leicester. Imagine what he's going to do at Chelsea. I don't know. It depends. Is Chelsea still going to be the same as last season? I don't think so. They picked up. They picked up, you reckon? No, they picked yeah. up. They picked up. They did you reckon, actually do you reckon all the domestics is done in Chelsea? That was what it was for Chelsea. Like, there was bare domestics in the team. That's what it was. You've got to say. Hey, she was a babes though. Like, she was a babes babe. though. Shout out to that physio. How <laughs> <laughs> <I> did it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, okay. that's on the transfers. You had your record break, record break of transfers as well. Got to give it to Pogba. So I'll say that's our record. Let's dab for Pogba. Pogba. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Key teams of the season. Yes, that's right. We're going to highlight all the key teams we think are going to be the strongest in the Premier League this season. And who, who you think? You know who I'm going for. Don't do you it. You know who I'm going for. Don't do it. Like, it's Manchester United. Good. Right. We look amazing on paper. That's on all paper. We're say. On paper. Yeah. Cool. By the season way, hasn't started. This is paper, by yeah. the way. Yeah. It's thin. Right. And it's yeah. way But you still got like Arsenal who are looking good pre season. Chamberlain, I'm just saying. No I'm injuries. He is our man this season. You've got Leicester that's still looking strong. Yeah, but they're, they're, you know, they're lucky they've still got their core players. Exactly. But without Kante there, I don't think it's going to ah, happen. Ah, you know, Gorey's beautiful. He's not your repl he's re he's replacement. Right. Right? Manchester City. What are we saying? Because I just think they're a great bunch of individuals. I don't really yeah. think they're a, you know a team. I looked at their, their transfers and uh, I don't think they've signed anyone that is 
first team worthy exactly you know mm. that, that that's going to be that consistent first it's, team it's like Pep Guardiola's prepping yeah, for yeah. next season or something exactly yeah even though yeah, yeah, yeah. they are I, mean, I reckon they'll still be a strong team in the season but you just don't know but mm. who are you saying top four teams what would you say obviously glory glory man United number two second that's a hard one this season's a bit fiery but you know what I'm going to go for well, I think Manchester City will go number two Number two. Yeah, Manchester City. Don't rate Arsenal. Does anyone rate Arsenal? I'm just no, saying. No, they don't. Can you rate us, please? No. All right, who's number three? Number three, I think Arsenal will go third. Oh, you always right, get third yeah. or fourth. Oh, wow. Last season was an exception. Number four, I genuinely, genuinely believe Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah, I think Liverpool will get yeah. number four. I think they'll get a full spot. I would agree. I'm, I am feeling, for me, top four teams, Arsenal, Liverpool, not in order, by the way. Wait, wait, what so, was that? Uh, not in order. Wait, wait, what was that? What was what Arsenal? Was what? Liverpool. What was that? What? 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 I think you made a mistake. Don't be surprised. Arsenal, Liverpool, City, and United. Because I hate them, I'm just going to put them at the bottom. But that's not in order, by the way. But yeah, I'll definitely say top teams to keep out, an eye out for this season. Cool, yeah, those are our top teams. Those are our top right. teams. Top goal scorers. Who are you backing, bro? Uh, definitely a lot of strong players that are going to be top goal scorers. You've got Mane, Vardy, Kane, Payet. Don't know if I'm gonna put Giroud there. Don't you shouldn't, because he's dead. You, you shouldn't. Know. Never okay. never put him there. But to be honest, I think it's gonna end the same as last season. I think Harry Kane yeah. is gonna have another strong season. I know he's had a poor Euros, but I definitely think he's gonna have a strong season. After that, it's all Ibra. All Ibra. It's all Ibra. Literally. It's all Ibra. Top assist. Top assist. We're definitely going. I'm gonna put Ozil. Pyatt. Don't know who else to put up there. But I'll, I think Wayne Rooney has a shot, you know. Oh, that guy. When is he going to retire? Wow. When is he gonna, he's a baller, but when is he going to retire, man? You know, wow. like, You're talking do, you about feel, do you feel United needs him right now? Captain. No, but do you, well, he didn't. Oh, he's the England Where captain. was he for the Euros? Just saying. Wow. Where was he for the Euros? Okay. Can you tell me? All right, right yeah, fair enough. Can you I, tell I, can't, me? I can't. I can't. I can't. There we go. But, Honestly, though, I do think Coutinho, maybe even Fabregas. You can't forget Fabregas. You can't forget Fabregas, obviously, but, you know, okay, we'll put Fabregas up there. He's up there. Well, Chelsea, it's just Chelsea need him. Yeah, Chelsea it's need just him. going off what Chelsea was last season, you know what I mean? And he was missing. He was missing. Well, he's now sporting a new Evo touch, so he might be able to get a better Evo touch this touch, season. Yeah. Nice little pass, you know what I mean? Bad boy bits, yeah. yeah. No, Santi Cazola as well. Yeah. We had him in the store, actually. Oh, yeah. Nice Check that out. Santi. Check that out right I there. Be, I beat him at actually, wait, wait. I right here, or here, or right here, Santi Cazola. All I know is I beat him at two touch. You same. lost. He, he cheated. No, you lost. He cheated. No, you got battered. He cheated. Battered? You got battered. What can you do with that? This guy. So, guys, let's talk kits of this season yeah yeah that's all right right so, what kit have you got your eye on what's your favorite kit right now do you know what i'm not gonna lie i'm a proud united fan. shock but but shock. but but shock but i've got to say the tottenham kit both of them Ooh. it looks so wavy Ooh. have you what seen you it doing? have you seen it? it if you haven't seen it i'm pretty sure it's going to come up right like now okay <laughs> All right, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. I think for me, Arsenal's third kit, Arsenal's third kit is definitely looking juicy. That look juicy on me as well. They're flexing my muscle. And arms you got so. okay. Yeah. All right. No also, Man City, Man City away kit. The new Nike's new <sighs> vapor gear. Nike's new vapor gear. That looks strong, man. To be fair, we played at Man City's training ground, didn't we? That's where we met the boring. If you haven't seen that, that will come up right here. Just saying, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Took a strong selfie with him. <laughs> Do you know what else is wavy, bro? What? The Manchester United away kit. Oh, don't. Blue. Oh. If you haven't seen it, Go. Storms the announced Pogba oh. in the kit. That was actually a sick advert, you know, I ain't gonna lie. That's hey, true. That was actually a sick advert. That's true. But guys, let us know what your favourite kit for the season will be. Just leave it in the comments below. Yeah. And yeah, or send it to us, why not? It's all about the underdogs now. Right, who are you backing, bro? Who's the dark horse? Who's gonna just, who might even get top four? I think everyone will agree it's gonna be West Ham. Yeah, so do I. I think this is West their season, Ham. you know? West Ham. Because they look like a unit as well. Yeah, they do look like a unit, man. Like, everything about them right now is 
is just growing. So definitely worth that. Yeah, Jamie's happy about that. Like, Jamie, happy about yeah. It. Yeah, no, the camera guy, right, yeah. right there, yeah. sitting right there. You can't see it. Hi, Jamie. But he's right there. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> cool. Do you know who else? Everton. Everton. They just signed Ashley Williams as well. Yeah. I think if they don't do it this season, I don't think it's ever going to happen because right I now don't, they're I squad, don't think they will do it this whoa. season. Oh, they'll be a strong, a strong team this season, but they're not going to do it. They won't. They won't be Ouch. out there. Top seven, I'll give them. Ouch. Top, yeah, top ten. Guys, time for our crazy predictions of the season. Yes, sir. Any predict crazy predictions? What you yeah, I definitely think uh, Dimitri Payet, nine free kicks this season. Right. Top bins. Zlatan, five red cards this season. Bro. Yeah. Lee Catamol, 20 red cards this season. You know what? Fellaini, top own goal scorer this season. Bro, you don't know ratings at no all. Rate, no one rates Fellaini. Oh, yeah. Guys, send us in your crazy predictions. But you know what? I think if any of us are right, or wrong, you have to do a forfeit. Okay. If I'm right about Zlatan, you have to do a forfeit. I am done. Just taking it. There we go. Let's do it. Forward. Guys, that's our season preview and predictions. Thank you for watching Pro Direct TV. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. Peace. <laughs>